Hey, Barefit Legend, I'm here again. You remember my last video, the nutrition pyramid that we did, the step-by-step -step guide to achieving your goals. Now we're gonna go into a bit more detail and we're gonna focus on how many calories you should eat. Now, I've given you a little bit of an example here, but this is basically based on the following. You're doing 7,000 steps a day. Now, when it comes to steps, you can find out on your watch. You, should, you can also download an app called Google Fit, which basically tells you how many steps you're doing each day. And I recommend 7,000 steps a day. It's not that easy to achieve. Maybe one walk or just walking around during the day should achieve that. This is also based on you training two to three times a week at least. And it's also based on your um, body composition as being, you know, kind of normal weight and just wanting to maintain, okay? This is not based on you being well overweight and wanting to lose weight. It's not based on you being underweight. It's basic, basically based on you being, uh, a, you know, an average um, weight and all you want to do is maintain it. And you're someone that maybe sometimes you overeat and you kind of want to bring back um, and, and that's your kind of body composition. So this information here is based on that. You're you know, a standard weight, you're not overweight, you're not underweight, you're just right in the middle, okay, in your, in your view. So recommended is four to 15, 14 to 15 calories per pound of body weight, all right? And that's pretty much based on, obviously, rough, rough indication of you, you weighing around 100, between 150 and 180 pounds, all right? So, but obviously mix this up if your body weight is a little bit different. Um, obviously, if, if you're you know over a hundred kgs or you know and you're you know not you know you're about five foot five foot five, just remember you might want to do less than this. Um, or if you're someone that's quite tall and only weighs you know about seventy kgs, you may need to add on this. Okay, so just bear that in mind. So this little example here that I've based on that you could use yourself. Obviously, like I said, mix it up to work for you. But this is just an example is when you're going about planning your week, um, plan in advance, making sure that you know Monday to Sunday how your week's gonna look. So if you know you're gonna binge on a Sunday um, and you like binging on a Sunday or you just like to eat, you've got friends coming over, just eat less calories during the week. So for example here, you could do two th roughly 2,000 calories a day, Monday to Friday, and then three and a half thousand on a weekend, which works out about 17,000 in the week, all right? However, say for example, you, you plan this, and on a Tuesday night you've got a work function, and you end up having an extra thousand calories on the Tuesday, at least you've planned this out, so you've only got a thousand calories left. So it's absolutely perfect for planning, because you know you're not gonna lose yourself, you know you're not gonna lose control, so you can st still stay on top of everything, all right? And when you manage your calories, there's a few different apps, um, systems you can use. My Fitness Pal, that's a really good app, also Chrome Meter, and when I talk about, you know, you might be watching this thinking, I really don't want to count my calories every day, that's not how I operate, I don't agree with it, and I, I, I'm totally with you on that. And I'm not saying you're gonna count your calories forever, I'm just saying if you feel like you've got, you're not getting anywhere with your goals, and you feel like you're not progressing, just manage your calories for a couple of weeks. Yes, it might be a bit mundane, you might find it a bit annoying time, but once you've managed your calories for at least 10 days, you don't have to worry about it anymore, because you'll know subconsciously how many you're eating, and you'll be able to get into a rhythm. I personally know how many calories I'm eating without managing it. I know what I put on my plate and I know roughly how many calories that is, so I know how to manage my goals, and you'll find the same. So use this little system here, work it to your advantage based on your goals, keep consistently training, keep an eye on your step count each day, and go and smash it this year and really get a good system going. All right guys, good luck with this.